My day typically starts around 6 a.m. and I would say my mornings are the most hectic part of the day because I try to do a lot in the mornings, uh, including getting my hot girl walk and getting kids ready for school and getting myself ready for work. The first thing I obviously do is make a cup of coffee because I'm a coffee holic. <laughs> I love the coffee that I make. I am very particular about how I like my coffee. Anyways, enough about the coffee. I work from office three days a week and work from home two days a week. Today is one of the days where I'm going to be going to the office and I'm going to take you along with me. Uh, this is me on the morning walk. I live near a really beautiful lake and a really beautiful trail that I can go and walk in the morning and clear my head and just spend some time like without my phone and everything. After I come back home, I make myself a protein shake because I'm currently on a high protein diet and I've been trying to eat healthy. After that, I get ready for work and check on the kids and if they need anything before they head, to head out to school. Okay, I think I'm ready. The hair took the longest time, but I'm ready. Last year, actually a year before, I started biking to work and I think I've become lazier, so I have started driving to work, which I'm not really proud of. But can you see the Seattle rain? It's a horrible. <laughs> Imagine biking in this rain. But I do want to get back to it at some point. And obviously, after I get to work, the first thing I do is get another cup of coffee. <laughs> yes, I, as I said, I have a few problems. This is one of the problems I have. But I do try to max out at two cups of coffee per day. I get to office around 9 a.m. And I like to keep my calendar uh, clear in the morning because... I have learned about myself over the 10 years of working in the industry. I've learned that I am very productive in the morning and I like to keep my mornings free so I can use it for heads down work because I have the most amount of brain cells during this time. I think it's probably because of the coffee, but who knows? So I try to do a lot of heads down work in the morning. On this particular day, I am working on creating an experimentation design for a new feature that my team wants to test. I will write it in a document and then we will have a team meeting and then we will review the design. It's 12 p.m. now, which means it's lunchtime, my other favorite part of the day. I typically do not have lunch hour meetings, but on this particular day, I had a lunch hour meeting that I had to attend. I'm gonna head to lunch. There is a food item that I really want in another building, so I'm just heading there. But while I'm walking there, I just wanted to take a quick pause and talk about something that I went through last year that I never talked about on my YouTube video. I went through a severe burnout and I was literally so miserable. I was ready to quit. I was not able to sit still. There was one night where I was doing yoga 11 p.m. at night because I just felt like I wanted to, I needed to keep moving. There's so many changes that I've made in my lifestyle. I'm still working hard, but not to the max where I end up at a point where I'm burning out. I started uh, seeing my therapist. I made a lot of other changes. So let me know if you all want me to talk about it in a different video, in a dedicated video. I'd love to share some ideas and tips. Okay, it's getting late. Let's go get lunch. So I got myself lunch and then went into a meeting room to eat lunch there while I listened to the talk. And of course, then I went back again to get some dessert. After lunch, I had back-to-back -back meetings with coworkers on VC and in person. One of the meetings was with my coworker in New York, who is currently trying to replicate one of the methodologies that I had created for my team. And we're trying to figure out how he can use this methodology and apply it to his use case so we basically sat down and walked through he walked me through his use cases and then we brainstormed some ideas on how it could be applicable followed by some brainstorming session on a whiteboard with another coworker. after some back-to-back -back meetings i took a tiny break to call my mom <laughs> and catch up with her uh, and get a snack from micro kitchen After talking to my mom, I went back to my desk and finished some more work. 
there were some emails that I needed to send and some other action items for me that I needed to complete by that day. All right, now we're done with the work day. Now I need to go do my personal stuff. So I'm going to go head to a coffee shop and meet with my social media manager. And we're going to pump up some, some content for all of you for YouTube and other social media channels. So if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe and follow me on other platforms. All right, let's go. After meeting with my social media manager, we planned out some content that I want to post in the next few weeks. I headed to the gym and had a really, really good workout. I recently started doing weightlifting, so it's been going really, really well for me. And yes, this is my second workout of the day and I love it. That's all I have for you today. If you like this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Let me know in comments what you liked and what you did not like and what you wanna see in future videos. All right, bye.